um, lalaki or another woman, but God placed you to be in His presence, to be in a relationship with Him. Right? So, kaya iniisip natin, no, Lord, ang marman niya, kulang ako, kasi wala akong relationship, wala akong boyfriend and girlfriend. I wanna, I wanna tell you, Adam was already complete in the Lord at first. Right? Complete na siya. Why? Because he is already complete in the presence of God. Right? They have a wonderful relationship. Kaya niya itong magtampisaw sa sa Dino, sa Garden of Eden. Ang sayo siya ni Adam. Right? And he was already, um, and, and, and okay na siya, satisfied na siya with, with what they had with, with God during that time. They can talk to God easily. They can, uh, they can, um, No, they can communicate. Ang ganda ng presensya. Ang ganda ng relationship nila. And Adam was in the presence of God. During the time, before everything else, bakit isipin ng love life natin, si Adam was, was, was there already. Let me ask you. If you want to have a biblical relationship with God, are you in the presence of God? Right? Where are you right now? Do you have a wonderful relationship with God? Right? So, so often excited natin to look for a partner, hindi naman tayo excited sa relationship natin kay God. Right? Pero gusto ko, huwag kayo pa, don't, don't ever think na siguro wala pa ang relationship kay God, kaya wala, wala akong love life. Right? Huwag mong gawin prerequisite yun. Kasi, hindi, it's not a prerequisite to have love life. Your relationship with God is the main thing of your life. Right? Hindi na, siguro tayo wala pa. Hindi, dapat meron ka, whether meron kang relationship or wala. You have to be in the presence of God. Amen? Because doon kanya nakakatagpo eh. At doon mo mo tatagpuan yung, yung, mag, yung mapapangasawa mo. Right? Of course, it's not literal na sa church mo matatagpuan. Of course, it's ever. Basta in your presence, you have a relationship with God. Let me ask you, do you have your relationship with God? Amen. If you want to ha- have a godly relationship, huwag mo memenosin ang presensya ng Panginoon sa buhay mo. Even in your love life. Kasi kung sa personal mong life, wala ang presensya ng Lord, paano ko siya include sa mga relationship mo, sa, sa, sa boyfriend mo, sa girlfriend mo? Right? At I think, magkaka- kaya nagkakaroon ng gulo, chaos sa mga relationship. Because at first, walang relationship ni God. Walang presensya ng Panginoon. Naintindihan niyo ba yan? Quick lang to. Pangalawa, there, there's purpose. Can you say that with your purpose? So, presence. Number two, there's purpose. So, ginawa ni, ni, ni God, pinlace na si Adam sa sa garden. Of course, um, sa what? It's a present God placed you in the presence of God. And then whatever and what next? Sabi niya, to what? God placed Adam in the garden to work and to take care of it. So, yung makita ni God, buti ka lang parang, ang ganda, ang ganda ng creation ko, pero may kulang, walang mag-cultivate ng land. Walang mag-aalaga sa lahat ng creation ko. Sino, sino mag-aalaga, sino mag-inindo. So, ang ginawa niya, God put Adam there in the God for sure, and then also to have a purpose, to have a specific purpose, to work for a specific purpose. So the Lord took man and put it in the garden to work and to take care of it. Right? Marami mga tao, excited, excited tayo sa love life natin, pero yung purpose mo sa buhay mo, hindi mo inaasikaso. Because you're wondering, you, are, you don't know where to go, what to choose, or who to choose. Dahil at first, you don't know the purpose of God in your life. I tell you, God always wants you to work at may pinapagawa siya sa'yo. I believe that everybody, lahat tayo dito, we have a specific calling that God, you know, uh, nabinigay sa atin that only us can fulfill. So, specifically dito, God wanted Abra- uh, Abraham to learn Adam to work to what? To name all the animals. Pangalanan lahat. Tama ba? So, meron siyang purpose at meron siyang dapat trabahuhin. Right? I, I believe that tayo, as a young professionals, we always have to, to, to put, be in the presence of God at the same time, to always have a purpose in life. Alam ko isa yan sa pinag-questions natin, the question natin sa buhay natin. Yun. Di ba parang we feel so empty, useless, meaningless, if we don't have purpose in our life. I tell you, when you are in the presence of God, purpose will follow. And, the, and your purpose mismo, you see God mismo magkasabi sa'yo, itong purpose mo, itong gawin mo. God will whisper to you, what are you going to do in your life? God will give you direction. God will give you the things to do so that you will have a meaningful life here on earth. Because I believe, hindi naman tayo ginawa ng Panginoon dito para lang sa wala, para tumambay. Sino ito gusto tumambay lang? Yung, yung talagang yung profession niya, tatong profession siyang tambay. For sure, wala nun. So today, I want to tell you, 
Before, if you want to have a godly relationship, you always have to have purpose. Not just the presence, the first things first. Pero kailangan may purpose ka, may ginagawa ka. Meron kang work na tinatrabaho sa puso mo. Maybe, you know, ang work na ginagawa mo yung ayusin ang sarili natin. Pero hindi naman natin kailangan maging perfect before entering a relationship. Kasi kahit naman nasa relasyon tayo, just ko lahat naman ng ka-imperfection na nasa atin pa din. But for as long as we have a specific task, work, that we are doing right now. Naintindihan niyo po ba yun? Right, so God created you to be in, to, to have a purpose and to work in His kingdom. So, hanap po niyo na purpose, bago partner, puro partner, walang purpose. Right, yes, sobrang gulo. That's number two. Number one is? Presence. Presence. Number two is? Purpose. Purpose. Are you learning? Naintindihan niyo po ba? Amen. Right. Number two, na, na makita natin that if you want to have a godly relationship, you have to remember that there's provision. Provision, what's that? Sige, basahin natin. So the Lord God caused the man to fall asleep. Kasi nakita niya, teka lang. Ang laki ng pinapagawa ko kay Adam to name all the animals. Sino ito ang niniwala? Sobrang laki nun. Pangala na nga lang kayong lahat. Parang teka lang, parang hindi ko, ma, ma, ko matrabaho. I, ako personally, I, I'm having a hard time remembering names. But for sure, I know your your faces. Kailalo ko kayo lahat. Pero ang hirap na hirap ang mag-recall ng mga pangalan. Di ba, ano ang pangalan mo? Ganyan. Ang hirap. So, so, Ab- 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 Abraham. Ano ah, di? Ano pa rin yan? Adam. 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 Si C. Pati pangalan ni Adam tsaka ni Abraham. Ano pa? Balik ba nga. So, ano pinag-usapan natin? Si Adam. Sabi ni Adam. Tala lang. Um, ang hirap pangalanan. So, nakita ni God na ang laki ng task, ang laki ng purpose ni Abraham, ay ni Adam. Pag sinabi kong Abraham, itindihin niyo na lang ako, ah. Kasi nung isa nung nakakalito na rin sa buhay, ito yung yan. So, sabi niya, lahat na tinatrabaho ni Adam, parang tega lang, parang kailangan niya ng suitable helper. Can you see that? So, I want you to know that Adam, during the time, was not in need for a helper. Kasi kaya naman niya, siguro na ba, tinulungan ng... Yung, yung may mga kasama na mo, siyang bear, nangyayakap siya, magbabad ka siya, polar bear, ang kita lang ito, mga hibo mo tapos, kausap mo ito. Siguro yung mga giraffe, sinasakay siya doon, din sa ulo niya, baon, ang kita niya yung mundo, siguro naman masaya naman siya during the time. Ay, 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 ay,
understand that God is not seeing our need. I value God sees that need. I value yung paghihirap ko. Sige, tawabaho ko na. So, sana ba? Bakit ako nang paghihirap ko? I tell you, di mo na kailangan mo pa rin eh because God saw that. Si Lord ang pagbibigay sa'yo ng tao. At alay mo nga, matulog ka ng pag-ising mo. Oh, man! Amazing! Pag-ising mo, nandun na agad yung mapapakasawa mo. And that's what happened. Exactly! Um, you know? Si Ibrahim mo lang eh. Hey, love. Si Ibrahim. Yes, we have to be well. Sino rin na naiintindihan ako? Yes. So, 
Palawan. One thing that I have also learned from my members is that kapag may natililaw sa akin or sa ating mga babae, we always have to be deliberately deciding, do I want this person to be, no, to be, do I want to get married with this person? If not, okay, next please. Do I want to be taken next? So, sa lang kantahin, kasi lang, never mind. So, we have we have to have that sense or that thinking or this mindset that when you enter a relationship or when you wanted to um, to court a person or to pursue a woman, marriage should be the intention. Pero kung hindi naman, huwag na lang because maybe you will not be in the will of God. Sayang lang, sayang oras, sayang panahon, sayang ang pera, sayang ang ganda, nilosyang mo lang yung babae, pinaasa mo lang, hindi mo lang pala papakasalan. Right? So the intention here is marriage. So permanency will always be the thing. So God, do you think that God wants us to be a partner tapos wala lang para lang magkalimitin ka lang? Eh di kumuha ka na lang ng sama ka lang tayo ng tatay mo, kalimit mo ba forever? At least di ka ko gagastos, diba? So kailangan, kailangan permanente. Kailangan pang forever. Pang forever. Hindi pang short time. Sabi you need to leave your father and you have to be united with his wife. You have to leave your parents and you have to cling, you have to cling on to your to your partner for marriage. I tell you, there's another growth for you. Iba, iba, iba ang uh, season ng marriage. Alam ko, maybe naririnig natin, ako, I'm not yet married, but for sure naririnig natin mahirap ang marriage. Ako, we don't want to enter marriage kasi grabe yung responsibility. What if hindi naman siya para sa akin? You know, you have to remove those things those thinking. Because marriage is God's idea. Right? Kung ginawa ni Lord, ang marriage pala mahirap, ang marriage pala parang napaka, um, napakagulo, bakit pala gagawin ni Lord? For sure may mga problems in, in inside marriage. But I tell you, we can work it out together. Right? We have the partner. Kaya you know, Pastor S and I were share, uh, nag-counseling kami, and then what I have realized, the mo, mo, more path, before, ito na naging minds ko, pero mas, mas na-excite ako sa kami, Pastor Resi, grabe mas na-excite ako sa marriage, kasi marriage will always be partnership eh. You get the privilege to partner with a certain person. He's not perfect. He will never be perfect. I am not perfect. I will never be perfect. Mukha lang perfect. But I will never be perfect. Pero can you see the privilege to be part of with this person and to see the grace of God Lord, sa kanya, ikaw mismo on hand mo may kita, araw-araw. Wow! And that's grace. And wow, that's a privilege. And para sa akin, wow, I, I, I'm, I'm so excited for this. Because that is God's idea. Kung may problema man yun, idea ni Lord to, si Lord din ang mag-resolve ito, si Lord din ang mag maglalabas sa amin sa mga problema namin. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's not something to be afraid of. It's a, it's a, yung commitment ng marriage, hindi natin siya dapat tinatakbuhan. I tell you, it's better. Can you say that we're better together? Right? Kung akala mo, mas nagihirap ka pag may, may kasal, pag may asawa ka na, of course, there's responsibility sa mga anak. Ganyan. Pero you're, you're together eh. Yung sweldo mo dati, pag ikaw lang, yung kulang sa'yo, at least kung may dalawang sweldo sa inyo, kung may asawa niyo, mas malaki. Wow. Wow. And we're better together. Right? Oh, I'm not speaking because I'm married. I'm not yet married. And I'm not expert of marriage. But what I can see, your perspective ko today ah, as in being unmarried, it's beautiful. As a place. Because it's, I think, God's idea. Whatever happens along that season, it's okay. Mahal na si Lord Lord. Like, kung si Lord na kaya, kaya solution ng mga problema ko yung single, single ako, how much more sa marriage life ko? Because that's his, his idea. Kapag idea niya, kasama mo siya Lord. Hindi mo ba, pagkasal ka na, iwan ako ng Lord? Hindi. The more that is there, in our day niya talaga yun. So God wanted us to get married. Of course, may mga tao, hindi talaga sila magpapakasal because, you know, may gift talaga sila. It's a gift. Pero, I tell you, may mga tao talaga na, yun ang ordain, yun ang, yun ang will ni Lord sa kanya, to get married. So I tell you, do not ever, you know, pag-settle, say, masap, pag-i-live in, or fling in, or five years in the relationship, come on, get married. Get married. Of course, number five and the last. Woo! Are you ready? Yes. Number five in the last is purity. Can you say that we mean purity? Purity. If you want to have a vertical relationship, purity, hindi siya pwedeng mawala. Hindi po 
circuit, married ka na, dapat okay, hindi meron sa natin purity. When we're single, when we're engaged, when, we're, when we get married, purity must be there. So sabi niya dito sa verse, and what happened, and they, and they become one flesh. So sex is only be, should be done inside the context of marriage. Right? Hindi siya ginagawa kapag oh, tayo na, oh, hindi rin nagawa mo tayo tayo mag-sex. O, oh, alam mo, hindi ni Kutsaya sa basta kata, tara, magsasex na tayo. Or kapag engage siya kami, hindi, hindi, it's not a license to have a sex or to no commit sex. Because if you want to have a godly relationship, purity must be your, must, must, you know, uh, must be priority. Pero kailangan, andun pa din ang purity. Amen. Right? So, biblical re- relationship speaks of purity. Right? For us to be pure until marriage, and even in the context of marriage, so the goal of every relationship is to walk with purity. Sa lahat ng relasyon, relasyon natin, example, when you are still single, sino ito mga single na mga single pa? There's nothing wrong with you. Tama, mataas mo kamay mo. Wow! If you're still single, I want you to know that God is calling you to be pure. To be pure with your, um, to be pure kasaka, pahabang kinakasalamuhan ang brothers and sisters mo, Pure mo tinitina ng mga kapatid mo, ang mga kapatid mo sa mga pananampalataya. We don't come here in the church and then pagdating mo sa church, sino ba rito yung mga majojowa ko? Sino mga maligawa ko? We don't, we don't come here and do that. Pag umasa ko sa church and when you have a relationship with other friends, sa lalaki man yan o sa babae, opposite sex man yan or same sex, we should have treat them with such spirit. Right? Hindi natin sila pinapaasa. Hindi natin sila tinitext, hindi na text, tapos pinapapol, tapos iiwanan mo rin. We don't do that. Because that's not purity. <laughs> Nilalabag mo ang purity. Right? Can I see the verse? May nilang ako dyan eh. Kaya yung Timothy. Do not rebuke an older man harshly, but exhort him as if he were your father. Treat younger men as brothers, and older women as mothers. Sa mga sino ito mga older women? So yung muna ay... And younger women as sisters, can you see that? Can you say this with me? With what? With? With absolute purity, that's right. Kapag tayo ka mag-single, din ang, ang will ni Lord sa atin is to treat every person, lalaki man, babae, with absolute purity. Hindi natin sila pinapaasa, hindi natin sila hinahang. We don't do that. We treat them equally. We treat them as brothers, kapatid natin. Ang mga kapatid pa natin, sinasaktan natin. Di ba? Ngayon, sa, uh, sa buong Pilipinas, bawal ng bastos. Hindi natin sila pinapastos. Right? We, we look at them as brothers. We don't look at them as potential. Parang lahat na lang sa'yo, mga lalaki, lahat ng babae, potential. We don't look at them as potential. We look at them as brothers and sisters. But one day, may isang tao, umangat. Isang babae, angat talaga sa'yo. And God showed that person to you. And then yung, yung, yung attitude mo parang si Adam mo, miss the flesh of my breath, most of my phone. You just know na siya na talaga and then you pursue. Pero every but lahat, you have to treat them equally. Sa mga single. Kapag sa mga inner relationship, sino rin ang mga inner relationship? Oh, tayo lang pala. Ano pa nangyari sa simbahan na to? Bakit naka puro single? O nagpapanggap lang kayo? Sa mga may relasyon dyan, tapos hindi inaamay na kung magtakataka na kayo ha? I want to boldly say this. To those people in a relationship, the will of God is for you to be pure. For us to be pure. Up, ah, at taas natin, isang slide. Sabi niya, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 3, But among you, there must not be even a hit. Can you say that with me? A hit. Of sexual immorality, of, or any, or of any kind of impurity or greed. Because these are improper for God's holy. The will of God for you to, to stay pure is not to commit or not even a hint of sexual morality. I personally, I, I will really um, commit my life or isa sa pinag-commitment ko kala to stay pure. And I'm just happy that I got a person who will walk with me in purity. Right? Hindi yung, na, hindi yung mag-compromise at some point, okay lang yan, sige, siguro tayo lang mag-sita eh. I thought, wala namang makakita eh. But you have to walk together with purity. Lalakad ko yun yung will ng Panginoon. Because if you will commit all these things, it's improper. Hindi maganda. 
Right? You're not walking in the will of God. And for married people, we talk about this. Right? For married people, by the way, if you're, not, if you're engaged, you're also not licensed to commit immorality. Right? Sex is only be done. It should be done in the context of marriage. Right? So, sa mga, mga married naman, don't commit adultery. Akala natin, oh, pag married na ako, I'm licensed to commit adultery. Did you know, sa mga married, ang pinaka number one na problema nila is pornography. Right? They, they, they look at other women, other, as you know, as an object of sex, not to his wife. But it's a sin as well. Pag nagpakasal ka lang, dapat ang nakikita mo na lang na maganda, na sexy, na talagang subject, or it's really your wife or your husband. Because that's how God designed it. So be loyal to your spouse and be, uh, you know, willing God, if you want to have a God's relationship, you have to stay pure. Whether you're single, in a relationship, or engaged, or married, you have to to be pure. Can you say that? Say that. So every relationship should be kept pure. That's how God decided. it. Pure. So we don't have to have any, we should, tanggalin na natin lahat ng excuses. Every season, in every season, purity is a must. Amen. So what are your five things? Ano yung bagay para to have a God in relationship? Number one is? Presence. Are you the presence of God in you? Number two, purpose. there's purpose. We have a purpose. Or are you working with a certain purpose? Number three, provision. Who among you believe that God will provide for you? Including the husband or your future wife. Amen. Number four, permanent partnership, right marriage. Right? So if you don't think that marriage is not beautiful and you don't want to enter marriage, hey, come on, let's try. <laughs> let's try. Go, go for marriage. Go for marriage. And then, of course, number five and the last is? Purity. Purity. I, I don't want to condemn people and uh, 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 the lovely as of now, I'm not sure already. But I believe that in the Lord, there's a second chance. We can all be pure again. All over again. Pwede yan. Tiny Lord yan. He can restore your purity. He can restore whatever na nawala, nakuha, ninakaw ng ibang tao in the past. Kayang ibalik yan ang Panginoon sa'yo ngayong gabi nito. Amen. Palakpa natin.